Hi, Sanji. Um, I'm coming on tonight. It's quite late. Uh, well, late for me. It's about half seven. Um, I don't normally come on at night, but Charlie's asked me just to if I could like how I made these shells. So I said I might as well just do a video rather than just try and explain it to her. So there are maybe a couple of videos I've seen on these. Um, so you know I'm not obviously the first person to do them or anything, but um, I just thought I'd show you what I do. Uh, and I just hope it makes sense, Charlie. So um, let's begin. That's what one looks like when it's not um, like glued onto anything. So what you want to do, you want to start with a circle. You need circles. Now I've I've when I first started making these, I played around with different sizes of circles and whether you wanted a, a plain edge circle or a scallop circle and scallop circles don't work so this is a spellbinders circle die and it is um, from edge to edge on the widest part just under just just under six and a half centimeters so as i say you could probably use smaller larger depending on what size um shells you want to make now the one thing i did find is i did use a larger die um, and it was a bit of an elongated shape, so I had to kind of cut more off. So, as I say, you might you might want to just play around and see what works better for you. So I've just die cut a stack of these circles, um, and I'll I'll show you what I do next. So what I do is I take the circle and I cut a little bit off. Now, as I say, I've worked out, sort of, I don't measure it or anything, but you just want to take a little bit off of each one. Doesn't matter what side or anything, just, just cut a little, a little bit off. As I say, if you use a different size die, you might want to take, you might need to take more or less off. I don't know. So it doesn't really matter what the pattern is. It's more the colours than anything. So... I've just cut off, as I say, them little bits. And then what you want to do, you want to get a scoring board. This is the first project I think I've actually been able to use my um, small scoreboard for. And, you know, I've just realised I didn't even see if I was in, if I was in frame cutting those off. But let's hope so. So here's our circle with a little bit cut off. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put your circle with the straight edge flush to the your board and then you're going to score it at every half inch well yeah half inch because this is an inch board so to mind your fingers with the first one so you literally just want to go down scoring every oh, every half inch gosh this is so I'm trying to do it looking through my camera. What I usually do is, because I've made loads of these the other day, and what I tended to do was do all the cutting, then all the scoring, then all the gluing, and so you sort of have a little batch production going. So then you've got this. You've got your piece of paper and it's scored you can just see the score lines there now you want to start from this this side here i don't know whether it matters whether you go which way you go which way you start i, I must admit i haven't a clue and you just want to concertina it backwards and forwards backwards and forwards on the score lines until you get to the end So you've got like a thin strip of paper like that. So for glue, you want something very quick um, drying, quick, well, quick grabbing, quick drying. Um, so then you've got one side. I'm just going to under that. So the side that you want to use is this side here that's mainly kind of one long piece rather than all the little zigzaggy pieces. Okay, 
and then what you want to do is I'll just have to do this not looking in my camera sorry or so I'll probably do it wrong fold it in half so you've literally just folded that strip of paper in half hope you can all see that properly literally just in half and then you want to take your glue and you really really only need a tiny little bit and try not to get it on the edges or it kind of sticks the rest of it together where you don't want it to be stuck and you just glue it shut and I just hold it for a minute just to um you know while it grabs on and then you want to open it out and you've got the shell shape and you can just like fiddle with it until you're happy with it and then what I've seen that on the video that I saw they were put in like um, a four millimeter half back pearl just bring you down a little bit now half back um, not a half back pearl an actual four millimeter pearl sort of right here at the bottom but what I, I actually quite liked, I've got some of these, you know, the flat back pearls. And I've got some that are, can you see they're like half and half in different colours? Some have got an AB finish and they're all one colour. And some are um, different colours. So they're the ones that I've been liking to use. But you can use whatever you like, whatever you have. You could use possibly a tiny button, a bead, you know flat back pearl a sticky gem literally just use whatever you have and i'm just going to place a tiny 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 bit of glue right there on the end and stick on my flat back pearl i personally like the flat back pearl because it's not as bulky as an actual like full round bead but as i say just use whatever you have oops and that is how you make your shell shape and they're, they're one of those things that they're really nice to sit there and actually make just like a load at a time so charlie i hope that helps and um you'll have to have a go at them speak to you all soon bye